In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate markdown costs. Question 1 reads, the reduced price of a dress is $54.99. Find the original selling price if a reduction of 40% has been taken. Let's begin by discussing what markdown is. As the word suggests, it's a reduction of the selling price of an item. So in our case here, we're being told that there's a dress and it's selling for $54.99 and it's been reduced. We want to know the original price. To calculate the original price, we take the current amount, $54.99, and we divide it by 100% minus the reduction percent, where we end up with $54.99 divided by 60%, which when converted as a decimal is 0 0.6. If we divide out these numbers, 54.99 divided by 0 0.6, we end up with the original cost of the item, which was 91.65. Now you're probably wondering, what's the logic behind subtracting 40 from 100%? The way I like to approach this type of problem is algebraically. We don't know the original cost of the item, so let's call the original cost of the item x. We do know that 40% of that original is being subtracted from the original. So representing that mathematically, we can write down x minus 0 0.4 of x gives us the final price of 54.99. Now in algebra, we learned that if you have two terms with the same variable, you can add or subtract the coefficients, the numbers in front. So I'll take 1 minus 0 0.4, that's 0 0.6x, is equal to 54.99. And to isolate for x, we divide both sides by 0 0.6. And that's exactly the expression that we were using initially. So this is a more logical approach, and this is a faster, quicker approach. In question number two, we're asked, a wallet was originally priced at $49.99 and was reduced by 30%. Find the markdown and the sale price. So the markdown can be found by taking the original price of $49.99 and multiplying it by 0 0.3. So this will tell us how much is being or will be taken off from $49.99. So $49.99 times 0.3 gives us 14.997. That's the discount from the original. Let's write this out. 14.997. That right there represents the markdown cost. And the sale price will be the original minus the markdown. So the original being $49.99. 49.99 minus 14.997 gives us the sale price. And that happens to be 34.99. We could have also solved this using the more logical algebraic approach that we discussed here. And it would have given us the same answer. In question number three, a file cabinet originally sold for $215 but was damaged and had to be reduced. If the reduced cabinet sold for $129, what was the rate of the markdown based on the original selling price? So we're told that there was a big discount from $215 to $129. If we find the difference between these numbers, that's $86. Therefore, it was reduced by $86. They want us to find out how much is 86 from 215 as a percentage, as a rate. Often when they ask for rate, they're asking for a percentage. So I'll take 86 and divide it by 215. And we get 0 0.4. Multiply that by 100% to get a percentage. And that's 40%. So the rate of the markdown was 40% of the original selling price. That's exactly what they want, and that is how to calculate the markdown costs.